Hey gang, it's last username. And I've got another bug report for you. I noticed this one when I started a new game of vanilla Minecraft to try the new features in 1.2. And I was building a mob farm way, way up in the top of the world. And when I came back down, I noticed a striking dearth of mobs in my world. One might even say a complete absence of mobs. Uh, as you can see, we're at hard difficulty right now, and it's the middle of the night, and there are no mobs spawning anywhere. Um, there was a bug exactly like this that was in the game for a long, long time. I think it goes all the way back to Alpha. And it was reportedly fixed in Minecraft 1.0. But I think it was kind of only half fixed. Um, and it went unnoticed for a little while, but the new world height interacted with it in such a way that now makes it a problem again. Um, and I will show you how that works and how the bug can be fixed. But first we're going to have to go into a little mob science. All right, here is the greatly simplified and woefully incomplete explanation of mob spawning. There is a box centered on the player that is 240 blocks long on each side and extends the entire 256 block height of the world. Uh, inside that box is where mobs can randomly spawn. They need to spawn on solid ground, they can't spawn in the air, and there is a limit to how many mobs can be spawned at once. In single player it's approximately 80 mobs. Once they reach that limit, no more mobs can spawn. Um, any mobs that are alive will be updated 20 times per second. And that update does various things like AI, the physics. But one of the things it does is handle their despawning. So mobs will check if there is any player within 128 blocks of them. And if there isn't, they will immediately cease to exist. Uh, that's how mobs are cleaned up when you get far away from them. Now the bug is that mobs that are near the edge of the loaded world, which you can see here, will not be updated. There's some special code that checks to see if there are unloaded chunks near the mob and then it won't update them. So mobs that spawn out there will never be updated. You'll never see them, they'll never do anything, and they can never despawn. But they still count towards the mob limit. So the mobs that are in limbo out there will gradually build up until they fill the entire limit and no new mobs can spawn. And that's how they go extinct. Um, this will gradually happen as you move around your world and load and unload chunks. But one way to make it happen really fast is to fly to the top of your world. Now let's take a look at the entity count, which is next to the E in the upper left corner there. It's currently at 84, 90. Um, once we get 128 blocks from the ground, it will go way down because all those mobs instantly despawn. Now it's down to 20. And the reason it's fluctuating like that is because mobs are still spawning on the ground down there because they're inside the box. But because they're so far away, they instantly despawn. So there's tons of spawning and despawning going on uh, all the time. But you'll notice that the entity count is gradually increasing. It started at 20 and now it's up to 70 pushing 80. That's because some of those mobs are spawning on the edge and they're going into limbo and they can't despawn. And because spawning is happening so fast, they will very quickly take up all of the available slots, which they've now done. And numbers stabilize at 82. And if we go down, we'll see that mobs are extinct. So that's how the bug works. Um, the way to fix it well, there's a couple ways. Um, you could simply remove that code that doesn't update mobs if they're near unloaded chunks. Um, I did that in MCP and it seemed to work okay, but um, that code might be serving some other purpose I'm unaware of. Um, you could move the despawning code out of the update so that it always gets run. Um, or you could modify the spawning algorithm so that the mobs don't get spawned and limbo in the first place. 
I don't know, I'm sure Mojang, Mojang can figure out the best way to do it. Um, for you, the player, probably the simplest way to deal with this would be to install single player commands. And with that, you can use the kill all command to get rid of all those mobs in limbo. All the creepers, skeletons, zombies, spiders, not the spooters, spiders, and the endermen. Don't do kill all mob because that will kill all your animals and villagers as well. Just kill off the hostiles. And as you can see when we do that, um, new mobs can spawn again. So that is the mob extinction mode. I'm Last username. Have fun.